Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I'm Aisha Salihu. President Mohamedou Buhari said his directive to security agencies to shoot any person or persons found illegally wielding AK-47s and other assault weapons remains in place. The president reiterated this at the official handing over of security equipment by Governor Babajide Sonwolu to the Lagos State Police Command during his one-day official visit to the state. The Nigerian Army has announced the redeployment of 11 generals and other senior officers in a major shakeup following the appointment of the new Chief of Army Staff, Major General Farouk Yahya. A statement in Abuja by the Director of Public Relations, Brigadier General Mohamed Yerima, says the Nigerian Army has released postings and appointments of senior officers. No fewer than two lecturers at Nuhu Bamali Polytechnic Zaria have been abducted by gunmen on Thursday night. Number of students abducted could not be ascertained, but Daily Trust reports that one person is dead from gunshots. Still on security matters, prominent Nigerians, including former President Olusegun Obasanjo, former head of state General Abdusalami Abubakar, Oni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Adeusi, Sultan of Sokoto, Al Haji Saad Abubakar, have met in Abuja to prefer solutions to the worsening in security in the country. The meeting also, also deliberated on other national issues such as unity, peace, integration and economic revitalization. In another development, the House of Representatives is amending Bank Employee Asset Declaration Law to compel chief executives of banks to declare their assets. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has recently written to banks demanding employees to declare their assets. And in business, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has indicated that it will launch its own digital currency before the end of 2021. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are digital currencies that are available only in electric form. In February, the CBN issued a directive to banks to close accounts of persons or entities involved in cryptocurrency transactions. And on the foreign scene, a French court has sentenced the man who slapped French President Emmanuel Macron to serve a four-month jail term. The man is also banned from ever holding public office and owning weapons for five years. That wraps it all for, tr for the Trust News Summary at this hour. Don't forget to join us later for an update. I'm Aisha Salim. Thanks for watching.